Nick, just uh, overall as a defense, nine sacks and then three sacks by yourself. Just talk about your defense's game and then your game individually tonight. I feel like the defense played well as a whole, and I feel like it was a testament to how we practiced this week or how we've been practicing really. And you just seen it all paid off today with you know the stuff that we've learned through to our, from our coaches, the techniques that we learned from our coaches, and I feel like it really all paid off today. So I'm proud of you know how the defense played, and we just got to do it again. And yourself, I mean, you personally, how do you feel like your game was? I mean, you had three sacks and two hurries. Just overall, you just rate your game. No, nah, I feel like I had a pretty good game. You know, I, I got in the backfield a lot, made a couple of plays. It was, it was really good, you know, it helped my defense. So I'm just happy we got the win with that. Thanks a bunch, Nick. Appreciate it. No problem. Parker Tim of SI Sooners. Nick, how much of an encouragement was it for you guys to get those two early turnovers and now have multiple weeks in a row where you forced multiple turnovers? Uh, I just feel like it's all it's all coming together now. Um, they're just coming in bunches, I feel like, now. And, and that's just a testament, again, to, to practicing. You know, what, And now it's, you can see it showing in the game, coming in bunches. So you know, I'm not surprised by these turnovers at all. I see TB do it 100 times in practice. Uh, I can't remember the other turnover. Oh, Buki. I see him do it a couple times, too, in practice a lot of times. So I'm just not surprised that you know these turnovers are coming for us now. Go to Joe Bednar with Norman Transcript. Hey, Nick. Uh, it seemed like a lot of the younger guys were able to get in, and not just the second half, but the first half. A lot of the young guys like Brendan Walker were able to get in the game early. I'm sure they're hungry to get on the field, but, I mean, what do you make of the way they were able to kind of step into this moment and, I deliver for you guys in, in a game where you essentially, you know, don't give up a touchdown to the last play of the game. Yeah, I'm happy for Brandon. He got his first sack today, and, and it, uh, it was a really good move for him coming off the edge. Uh, you seen Joseph Wete get some action too. Reggie Grimes got in there a little bit too. So, you know, a lot of young guys played, and you know, they actually, you know, they made some plays tonight, and I'm happy for them. Um, they earned it in practice, uh, and they deserve to play in the game. So, you know, I'm really proud of those guys. Bob Presbello, center screen. Yeah, Nick, when you guys get pressure like you did in that first series, how did that sort of set the tone for what was about to happen throughout the rest of the, rest of the game? Uh, yeah, it's really intimidating, you know, because that just sets the tone of what they're going to have to be dealing with all game. And I feel like we did a really good job of setting the tone uh, up front. And, you know, we just kept going at them, kept getting pressure. And, you know, I feel like it, it, it wears the offensive line down. So, you know, I was really proud of the way we get to, got to start that game. Channel Englewood with OU Daily. Hey, Nick, congrats on the win. Um, I asked Spencer and Ronnie about this, but playing through practice this week, one election's ongoing. Was there any struggle to focus on the game, or was this week really just about football for you guys? Uh, it was about both, really. Uh, coaches did a really good job at you know giving us our time away in, on election day and, and making it an emphasis that we go vote. And just really, when we when we had to do football, we had to lock in. We had to we know our opponent, and we just had to lock into Kansas and, and make sure we were ready to play on Saturday. So I feel like we were we were prepared for the election day, and then also when it's time to play football, you know, we we got down to business. Good Clay warning with Norman transcript. Yeah, Nick, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, I presume you've had to deal with him in practice, but what's what's the toughest thing about trying to uh, defend against Ramondre Stevenson? He's a bulldozer. I mean, just like when we when he was on scout team for 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 those couple of weeks. I mean, not to call my teammates out, but like sometimes like we would just be like, you know, damn, like we got to go tackle this guy. So, I mean, Ramondre, he's just been a huge addition back to our team and. You know, he's, he's helped us on, on scout team for the, the first couple of weeks when he was on there. And, you know, now I'm just happy to see that all the work is paying off for him um, with him coming back. So I'm really happy for Mondre. Thank you. The last one from uh, Nick Cliff Bryant with AP. Yeah, uh, Nick, is it a situation where maybe y'all are focusing less on trying to force the turnovers? Or are they just coming from you guys doing what you're supposed to do? Because it seemed like earlier in the season y'all were pressing doesn't look like you're pressing as much, but yet now you're getting Yeah, we're just really playing ball right now. And, you know, like Coach Grinch says, you know, when you do the right technique, when you when you run to the ball, when you follow that bottom line, good things are going to happen. And you're seeing these turnovers starting to come, come in bunches now. So, you know, I really just think it's it's because it's of the philosophy that Coach Grinch has put in. And, and now we're seeing all the turnovers come. So, you know, 
that's a really good job by the defense and our coaching staff.